Welcome back to you Think Thrice Problem Solver. Today we're going to be solving a fun little problem with imaginary numbers. So what you probably know is that i is equal to the square root of negative 1. So if I have i to the i, what I'm looking for is the square root of negative 1 raised to the square root of negative 1 power, which also doesn't really make much sense. So what I think we should do is let's go ahead and look at this in terms of the exponential form. So if I look at e to the i a, that's equal to cosine of a plus i sine of a. So we want this to be equal to i. So really what I'm asking is when is sine of a equal to 1 and cosine of a equal to 0? And I can see that's true at an infinite number of values, but a equals pi over 2 jumps out. That's the first one in the 0 to 2 pi domain. Okay, so if a equals pi over 2, then I would have e to the pi over 2 times i. So now let's think about this in terms of this. So if this is i, then if I take i to the i-th power, that's the same as taking e to the pi over 2 i and raising that to the i-th power. So now we're getting somewhere. So I can go ahead and distribute that. So I'm going to get e to the pi over 2 times negative 1 because i squared is negative 1 which is e to the negative pi over 2. And now that we've gone through that we can see that that is actually going to be our solution. So relatively quick and easy um, but definitely you need to think about it from a different viewpoint than you might have otherwise. Um, but go ahead and like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you have your own problem that you'd like me to solve, please submit it. As you're working through problems on your own, think once, think twice, and if you get stuck, think thrice.